Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. One of the most common questions we get asked here is how long did it take to build this ship or how long does it take to build battleships? The Battleship New Jersey was under construction from 1940 to 1943. So that's a little bit less than three years. However, the answer I usually give people is it normally takes about four years to build a battleship. But for wartime construction like New Jersey, they'll often work around the clock and be able to get it quicker. So uh, for today's video, I've actually gone and looked at the numbers for how long it takes to build several battleships uh, to see just how accurate this thing I've been saying since I was a kid uh, is and, and uh, where that four-year number comes from because it just doesn't hold true for American battleships. Now, first of all, I didn't look at all 170 dreadnought battleship and battle cruisers um, to figure out how long it took to build all of them. I, I have a sampling of the 10 American fast battleships from North Carolina through Wisconsin. And then I've got a sampling of 10 other ships throughout the dreadnought era. So uh, first off, the battleship dreadnought herself. And she is remarkable because of how quickly they built her. But keep in mind, she's also one of the smallest dreadnoughts that was ever built. Uh, dreadnought took just 426 days to build. That's from keel laying to commissioning. Uh, that is one year and two months on the dot. So significantly quicker than the four years I mentioned. And technically, they weren't in a war. Uh, really, they weren't even in a building race yet. That doesn't come until after Dreadnought. So how about a little bit more modern ship like a Super Dreadnought? Everybody's favorite Dreadnought, the battleship Texas, took two years, 10 months, and 23 days, or 1,060 days. So more than uh, twice as long as HMS Dreadnought herself. And this is for a ship that, you know, has added a couple thousand tons and two inches on the main battery caliber, but you know, not, not too much. So really this is also showing us that Great Britain, especially during this time period, was able to very, very quickly build battleships compared to other countries. So how about their main competitor in the naval arms race, Germany? My favorite World War I German warship is the battlecruiser Durflinger. Durflinger took 885 days to build, which is two years, five months, and two days. So she is uh, a significantly larger than Dreadnought. She's got a more powerful engineering plant. Um, so, so a little bit uh, more comparable. And the Germans are able to turn her out quicker than the Americans are able to turn out Texas. So look at that German efficiency, even though they're, they're near contemporaries. How about Japan? Kirishima is one of the first capital ships built in Japan. The British build Congo for the Japanese, deliver her, and then the Japanese basically replicate that design for three ships of their own. So for Kirishima, a relatively new ship, again, contemporary to Durflinger, another battle cruiser, contemporary to Texas, a similar main battery, uh, it takes 1,128 days to build her, or three years, one month, and two days. So that's not bad for your first attempt at a capital ship. A little bit longer than Texas, uh, significantly longer than Durflinger or Dreadnought. But again, we're talking about large battleships, and each of these ships is getting a little bit larger. And we have Hood, the first fast battleship, and uh, a ship nearly as large in uh, size as an Iowa-class battleship, but still being built in Great Britain during wartime, so one of the faster production uh, countries in the world at this time. It takes 1,352 days to build Hood. So that is three years, eight months, and 14 days. She wasn't a high priority. They had to do major redesigns uh, because of the experience during the Battle of Jutland. However, uh, you can see what the fastest country in the world is able to do with a ship nearly the size of New Jersey. So uh, let's now move into the World War II era and look at what some of these treaty battleships are. Uh, for the longest of the ones that I looked at, we have the Italian battleship Littorio. She takes 2,017 days or 
five years, six months, and eight days. So a little bit longer than that four-year average I usually tell people. And that number I give people, I'm, I'm usually talking about the World War II-era battleships. So obviously the smaller World War I-era battleships seem to be taking uh, significantly less time. But we got five years for Littorio. Uh, the French battleship Richelieu, 1,623 days, uh, which is four years, five months, and 10 days. So again, a little bit over four years, uh, still within that window. Next up, we got the German battleship Bismarck. It takes 1,515 days to build her, which is four years, one month, and 23 days. So Germany isn't building nearly as many capital ships as they were during World War I, uh, so they've lost a little bit of that industry. They haven't built any ships in 20 years. However, uh, they have built both Scharnhorst and Neisenau prior to Bismarck, so they do have some capital ship building expertise, and, and she's right there on the four-year window. And uh, she's fairly close in size to the Iowa-class battleships. Next up, we've got Yamato. It takes 1,503 days to build Yamato, which is incredible given that she's uh, some 65,000 tons of material being assembled. Uh, that is four years, one month, and 12 days, about two weeks less time than it took to build Bismarck, even though Bismarck is uh, some 20,000 tons less, or one-third less material. Uh, so it shows that uh, Japan, even though they're manufacturing some massive guns and some massive armor, has a really, really efficient shipbuilding industry at this time. And again, right in that four-year bubble. Uh, and the quickest of these uh, non-American treaty battleships is the King George V, and she takes 1,369 days, or three years and nine months, so just under the four-year window. Uh, she is also the lightest of the ships I've quoted. She actually uh, falls in at the 35,000 tons, um, has the smallest guns of any of the ones I talked about, and she's being built in Great Britain, though she is the first battleship built in Great Britain since the 1920s, so probably about 15 years. So there's been some amount of, of uh, ability lost there. But again, uh, she's probably almost twice the weight of Dreadnought, at least 50% heavier than Dreadnought. So there is more material to assemble here. Dreadnoughts, quicker than four years. Treaty battleships, right in that window in Europe, how do American battleships compare? So our first battleship we were building in 17 years was North Carolina. North Carolina took 1,260 days, or three years, five months, and 13 days. Uh, so that's about four months quicker than King George V. And get this, North Carolina took the longest to build of any of the American World War II battleships. Why did it take her the longest? because the United States intentionally went slow in her construction to learn lessons to use in the future ships. Uh, she was very much a prototype. Uh, there, there was a pretty protracted design period. Um, even more so, they have to re reconfigure the ship for a new gun type partway through the design, which the British do not choose to do with King George V so they can complete her more rapidly. The Americans are able to delay this with North Carolina and still complete her quicker. So you start to realize that not only does the United States make twice as many battleships during this time period as anyone else, they're able to accomplish that because they're doing it a lot faster. American shipbuilding has really come a long way since World War I, uh, where, where Texas is taking more than twice as long as Dreadnought and uh, even longer than German ships. So Washington is the next battleship. She's also North Carolina class, another 35,000 ton battleship. It takes uh, only uh, 1,066 days, which is two years, 11 months, and a day. Uh, so they're able to cut six months off of Washington's time based on North Carolina's time. So that is uh, really impressive that, hey, they, they go slow and steady with North Carolina, and then they apply all those lessons into Washington right away. So what do they do for the next class of ships? And interestingly, both Washington and North Carolina and the Iowa class are all built at Navy yards. Most of the South Dakota class battleships are built in private yards. So how do the private yards stack up? 
Well, the battleship South Dakota was built right here in Camden, New Jersey, just aft of where the battleship is docked today in what used to be New York shipbuilding. Don't ask me why New York shipbuilding's in Camden, New Jersey. It's a long story. It only takes 989 days to build her. Uh, that's two years, eight months, and 15 days. Uh, so they, they've managed to cut that time down three months compared to the earlier class of battleships. Keep in mind, the South Dakotas and the uh, North Carolinas are both roughly uh, 35,000 tons. Indiana, built at Newport News, is uh, 983 days, so she is one week quicker than South Dakota with uh, two years, eight months, 10 days. Uh, Massachusetts, built at Four River, is the longest of the South Dakotas. She takes 1,027 days, or two years, nine months, 22 days. Alabama, built in Norfolk, which is the only one of the South Dakotas built at a Navy yard, takes 927 days. Uh, that's two years, six months, 15 days, which is the shortest time period for any 35,000 ton battleship or above, uh, and the shortest of any American battleship. So that is impressive. Uh, so now we get to the Iowa class, and I really didn't know what to think about the Iowas because one, they're wartime construction, so you think they're rushing their design. Uh, but also, on the other hand, they're 10,000 tons. They're a full 30% uh, larger than the older battleships. So I didn't know if that was going to translate to a quicker building time or a slower building time. And it turns out the answer is a mix. Iowa herself, 971 days, two years, seven months, 27 days. That's the quickest of the Iowa class. New Jersey is 979 days, so one week longer than Iowa. Two years, eight months, and seven days to build New Jersey. So these first two come off incredibly quickly. Uh, they, they are right on par with the length of time it takes to build the South Dakotas, even though they're 10,000 tons heavier. Uh, they are being built by the same shipyards that built North Carolina and Washington, so that this workforce has some experience. And again, they're rushing things around the clock because uh, World War II has been declared about halfway through their construction. Uh, World War II is already going on in Europe by the time that they start these ships, but the, the United States gets involved in the war about halfway through these ships' constructions. So next up is Missouri. She takes 1,252 days, or three years, five months, five days. That is the second longest of any of the dreadnoughts. Only North Carolina takes longer uh, for the American battleships. So at this point in the war, it seems like there are shortages. It seems like there is material being transferred to other shipyards or, or other projects. We're building more aircraft carriers than battleships. There's a, a finite amount of armor steel. So obviously we're rushing it to the South Dakotas and, and uh, Iowa and New Jersey. But it seems like uh, Missouri and Wisconsin aren't getting it because Wisconsin takes 1,186 days or three years, three months. Uh, so both of these ships take about six months longer than the earlier Iowas. And then, of course, the later Iowas, Illinois, Kentucky, and, of course, the Montana class, are never even completed at all. They never get the resources allotted they need to be completed. So it's very interesting to see that, you know, the, the South Dakotas are able to be rushed into con completion because... Uh, they're nearly finished when the war starts. The early Iowas that have most of their material gathered are able to be built relatively quickly. But the North Carolinas that are being used as test platforms and the later Iowas that are facing material shortages take longer to build. And there isn't really a rhyme or reason between the private yards or the Navy public yards into which goes faster. Uh, at the end of the day, it takes an average of 1,064 days to build an American uh, battleship during World War II. So while everybody else is building theirs in four years, the U.S. is doing theirs in about two and a half years, three years max, which is incredible and speaks uh, very favorably to American shipbuilding because it's one thing to churn out cookie-cutter wartime construction like uh, victory ships or, or some of the destroyers, but to be able to put out these battleships 25 or 30 or 50 percent faster than other countries are uh, is supremely impressive. So what do you guys think are some of the reasons why it took longer to build some of these ships than others? Let us know in the comment section down below. 
if uh, th there's any reasons that you think really contributed to why North Carolina or Missouri took so long or why Alabama was and Iowa were completed so quick. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below for more ways you can donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.